Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video is just a market day vlog. We are currently on our way to a market. It's like a balloon festival, like a hot air balloon festival. And I think they also have a, what is it called? Carnival. Carnival going on. Duncan could not come with us. It's not dog friendly, so my brother's watching him today. But we are 10 minutes away. We have our parking pass. We're space number 15. This is our first time doing it, and I'm excited. And I'll try to get as much footage as I can. Usually I don't do a ton of filming at the market. I do like the time lapse and stuff, but hopefully I can get more than just that because that's what this whole video is. And it's supposed to be a beautiful day. I think the high is like 77, which is perfect. And it's 8.40 right now. The fair is 10 to 7, so it's a long day, nine hours, which I don't love long fairs, to be honest. They're just draining but I'm hoping it goes by fast, and usually it goes by fast when there's a lot of sales. So, hoping for a successful event, obviously. And Sean made sushi last night for our lunch. He made like a shrimp tempura sushi. We got the shrimp tempura from Trader Joe's. So, I'm excited for that. We brought some yummy snacks too, but I will see you when we get there. Morning. We either leave with the crafters, which is around seven, or you stay till after the fireworks and everything. Which is beautiful and wonderful, but you can't leave in between, and it probably is around eleven. I saw in the email it said it depends on the flights of the balloons. So will you be walking around telling them? Tell to... Okay. Yeah. Liz okay. or Martha. The red fence, like go behind yeah, it's those. Yeah. Like when you go past that truck, you'll see. Oh, there's the path. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. So the first thing we do when we get to a fair is unload the van. Sometimes we have to wheel our things to our spot, but this time we could park our car right near us. So first thing is we set up the canopy, and they had us packed in pretty tightly, so we had to be careful. And as we were setting up, there was this helicopter that was landing, which was so cool, but they flew right over the tents. So it was crazy. It was so much wind. People's things were like blowing over, but they did helicopter rides later in the day. After setting up the canopy, we set up larger display items. So here I'm setting up the tables and we already set up the garment rack and then the pink shelf. Next I put on the tablecloths and the ones I used from Amazon and I really like them because they hook under the legs and make for a sleeker look. Then I just put out my inventory, so here I'm hanging up my tote bags, and I use shower curtain hooks to do this. I got these from Walmart, but I'm sure Amazon and Target also sell them, and I find that it works super well. Everything I do from now, I do it for you. And then the car coaster table is kind of my duty while Sean does the candle table. So I put out the car coasters, Sean put up the stickers this time, but then I also put up some signage. And I tried something different with the setup. I used Velcro instead of tape because Using tape at every fair just feels very wasteful. I'd like to say that this worked perfectly, but at the end of the fair when I was trying to take the signs off of the wood, the Velcro was very difficult to come off without pulling off the wood or like breaking the sign a little bit. These signs are pretty fragile. I actually need to get more, but I'm going to keep trying to make it work. So here I'm just continuing to set up this table and put some signage out. I also set up my phone grips. I don't love having all of the pricing on one board, but now that I think about it, the only items I have that aren't individually priced are the car coasters and big coasters. So like my stickers, phone grips, candles, keychains, and tote bags all have the pricing right there with the product as well. Um, and I actually just printed out a sign for the car coasters that has the pricing on it. So it's just going to be the big coasters that only have the pricing on the board, but that's better than all of the products only being on the board. And like I was saying earlier, Sean sets up the candles, so that's what he's doing here. And then the last step is to set up all of my dog and cat keychains, so enjoy this time lapse of me doing that. She said she's on her way And now she's walking up the drive Got the 
a record player wrong She's stepping up inside It's a favorite song She kicked her right shoe off Her left shoe off She's dropping down her shoulders and she's moving and now for a booth tour. So on the outside of my booth, I have all of my keychains. So satisfying. I love my keychains so much. I need more cat keychains though. And then moving to the right, I have the citronella candles on this separate shelf away from the other candles. Then I have my tote bags hanging right next to those candles. Then my sticker display, which Sean made a few months ago. And it spins. So I have four sides to this. And then I have my phone grips. We turned this bin horizontally this time, which worked well with the spacing. And then I have my big coasters and above that, all of my car coasters. And then I have all of the candles on a separate table. And then behind my booth, I have my supplies for when people purchase. So I have these white bags, pink keychain bags, and then a big charger for my square or phone. The carnival is so cool. These are like such summer vibes. Yeah, I'm going in. That looks good. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute. Thank you. So I can do cash or card. Card just has the other boxes. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take this now. It's 13. Thank you. Do you want to bow? No. Okay. I'm getting them in dinner. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You as well. Oh 
This fair was pretty busy throughout the whole day, but even so, there were times of slower foot traffic, so I was working on car coasters during those times. And then around 5.30, a lot of people started showing up for the hot air balloon rally, which was scheduled for 7, I think, 6.30, 7 o'clock. Don't you worry about me, baby. I have everything I need. If you care about me, baby, tell me why you chose to leave. Do you really think you know me? Do you think you have me all figured out? the things we do day night late night just me and you everything that you put me through everything that i've been feeling do you feel it too because of you 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 i've got a head that's full of doubt oh no why you turn your Sometimes I miss you in the evening, evening. replay in my mind, I see you leaving, leaving. Uh, but I ain't tripping, girl, not even grieving, you were so deceiving, now I know that I'm the only one I can believe in, I was the one that you didn't appreciate, you really knew me front and back like a license plate, now I'm hitting ignore when you call me late, cause I already know you're gonna say, why, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick won't up you come wife, back to me, phone. I'll try, no, I know, 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 It is 8.19, we're leaving the fair. Sounds like the fireworks are starting, but we gotta get home to Dunks. <laughs> that was great. I think that was the most we've ever made in a single day. Although, was Nyack more? I, it came close. There's bugs in here. We made, do you know? Okay, I'm pulling up the spreadsheet that says how much we made and then the percentage of sales for each item. But while that loads, I wanna talk a little bit about that fair. So that was our first time doing it. It was like a hot air balloon festival, as you, I'm sure, gathered, and I think I've already said. But the craft portion went till seven, and I could have packed up around 7.20, that's when we were allowed to, but we stayed because there's still people shopping, so that would have been dumb to pack up <laughs> when people were buying. But the conditions were too poor for the balloons to go up into the air, so they just blew them up. <laughs> yeah, they did some tethered launches, but the individual people who brought their balloons, they just blew them up. As you saw, it was still very cool. I didn't realize how big hot air balloons are until you're right up in front of them. That was pretty consistent foot traffic. It was definitely the busiest around 5.30, which is when the balloons, I think, were supposed to go up. Um, so 5.30 on, we made a lot of money. Okay, we made a total of $1,300 dollars which is very good and help pay for my laptop screen <laughs> and then uh, the percentages so candles were 33.9 percent of sales car coasters were 15.5 percent stickers 11.27 percent phone grips 5.2 percent keychains were 30 percent and tote bags were 4.2 percent that is beautiful that's how I want it. I want most of the sales to be candles and keychains because the car coasters take me the longest. I definitely need to place another order for keychains after this event. I'm sold out of a couple. So that's never good because the keychains take like a month, a month and a half to come in. But I'm thinking of just placing an order for current designs so that I hopefully don't have to wait as long. 
But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Jesus. We're about to crash and die. These people were that was scary. I, <laughs> I just, okay. Can you imagine? Okay. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next. And subscribe if you enjoy business content. Okay, I will see you in my next video.